That's an interesting wrinkle for us because <laughs> this this was already designed. Oh, okay. Because it was ordered pre-COVID. Yeah. And so we just sort of, the floor plan worked for us. That's about all we saw was pictures and a floor plan. And they had changed a few of, like the park changed a few of the um, design features and Work, stuff. Yeah. And it all worked and fit in for us. My, uh, that's one thing I said when, we said, well, do we want to sell a house and just move out here, live out here? Uh, I said, okay, but it has to have like at least one and a half bathrooms. So a second bit of a bathroom and an, and a second bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We did take the time to look at the other manufacturers and the floor plans and stuff like that, just to see, okay, well, there's this one, we can see it. What would we do different? And there wasn't enough things in this one that was already designed that we would have no deal breakers in any yeah. way, just minor little things, so. Kind of takes the headache away too, right? Like, in one way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just but me. until that day, it actually backed on the lot and they cut open the Tyvek on the side was the first time we got to see it actually. Yeah. Other than the pictures, they, they were pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that must be an interesting time when you're waiting. Oh, yeah. so much anticipation, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what about the decor? The color scheme was perfect. It's, it was my color scheme anyway. Um, I, I did get to, to change the fabric for the, it come, came partially furnished, like with the beds, oh, okay, and the, okay. beds and comforters and like a couch and coffee tables and stuff. So that all fit in with what I already had. So that worked out perfect. The floor was a perfect color and stuff. So it, yeah, it worked nice. out really well. And do you have full size appliances and everything mm -hmm. in there as well? Uh, well, the washer and dryer is a little smaller i don't know if you'd call yeah. it apartment size but it's a yeah. little smaller but it, it does there's no problem with that except for one time I, like i've taken my comforter and maybe my mattress cover to my daughter's she's got a huge machine but there's also laundry out here with one big machine that it works in too so yeah that hasn't handy. been a problem yeah that what this deck railing? Did you guys pick this or did it come like this no that, that is a lot of research and uh <laughs> Yeah, this is for splurge. This is yeah. splurge on the on the nice stuff up front. Um, working with uh, with Sean, went through some designing, and um, just we are focusing on the. This is what I call front of the building, even yeah, though it's technically, technically. The there. <laughs> so it's all about uh, this is this is why we're here. So why put a rail across top yeah, rail so we did. at eye level? And it has um yeah. has a light in it. So it lights up at nighttime, just around the perimeter of each pane of glass has a really nice, soft kind of blue light, nothing too bright or anything. So it looks oh, really, that's really, nice. Oh, yeah. that's really nice. <laughs> yeah. So tell us a little bit about your park model specific. So we worked with Janice and General Coach. I did most of the the designs. Reg just said. Be, be honest, yes, you did. <laughs> Reg did nothing. <laughs> um, we went just from the bottom up. This was a model that they already had a floor plan to. We changed a bit of it, um, taking out some of their built fixtures so we could add our own. Okay. Um, and we added a bigger island and bigger kitchen and left it the same in all the bedrooms and the bathroom. The living room we took out, uh, they had a bookcase. And we took that out and then we built it from the ground up. We picked out flooring, countertop, walls, cupboards, yeah, well, I think yeah. your island is giant, which is beautiful, yes. and you have like regular um, appliances. Yes, we do. Also, really nice. Yeah, we have the same size we had in our home. Yeah, so it's not really changed much. We have a way bigger kitchen now than we did in our home. Way bigger. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we designed it, and when we moved in, we started adding our personal touches. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you must be really into decor. Yeah, yeah. I like to. <laughs> I like to decorate and change things. 
can you walk me through, like, how did you come to choose a park model to live in? We never, ever were going to do this. Um, never came up. It just, we saw Cherry Hill and um, saw what they offered and went, it just opened a whole other thought process because all you think of is hmm, condos, like downsizing, you retire, small home. Never thought of this. And I'm so glad we came out here. This, yeah. Yeah. So. And it was fun designing it. I had a good time with that. That's right. Oh, yeah. Did you um, pick out most of the features or? Basically, I put together from a bunch of different plans our plan. Yeah. And uh, it's named after our granddaughter. Ooh, what's the name? The Willow. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you've got the deck off to the side and then the sunroom, living room, and then there's two bedrooms back there? Or? Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, the second bedroom is like an office, guest room. They're big. Like, these rooms are bigger than what we had in our house. Hmm. Had no idea you could do that. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, and your kitchen is very big. Yeah. Very spacious. Also, this is all bigger than we had at home. What was designing the unit like? Can you um, tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah. And, um, but I'm yeah, assuming the decor kind of comes from you. So yeah. I want to ask you about furniture yeah. and, and, and everything design wise. Mechanical is all me. Make it work, make it function. And like I said, I took and looked at a bunch of different plans and knew how I wanted the space because I, I could not do a small apartment. It would just not work. So when drawing this up, I had space in mind. Um, we liked to cook, so we needed a, a decent kitchen. We've got a decent living space. And like she said, the bedrooms are larger than what we had in our home. And the garage. And the garage was the big thing. Initially talking with Cherry Hill it was just a standard garage and I threw out the idea of putting um, what they call attic trusses on top of the garage. So basically I have a storage shed all the full length of the garage. So oh, that's handy. It's basically 24 by 8 by 8. Yeah. Storage space. Yeah, because if you want to have like a kayak or something or like, I don't know what you guys store up there, but like in my mind, it like it would be well, handy for that kind of stuff. Grander, who we worked with, took the what I put together and took care of all the code issues and whatever, and got it set up and brought it back to us. And you see what the out. Yeah. So, the outcome. Yeah. yeah. What about the uh, inside features, like the furniture and appliances and stuff? Our home you? was, yes, our home was dark. So when we were doing this, I said, this is my opportunity to change everything to bright and white. And I find it was going to be smaller, so white will make things look bigger as well, right? More spacious, light, bright. And then dark, I brought in with the tile, you know, and the oh, yeah. flooring and the front is a little bit darker. But um, yeah, that was all I knew for sure what I wanted for that backsplash and he did it all um and then it all just sort of like everything had to be sort of bluish for that to yeah 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 <laughs> oh man let tell, tell us a little bit about your site mm -hmm. so it seems like you've made a lot of changes and it looks beautiful <laughs> your deck is gorgeous your grass is gorgeous thank you tell us something yes about it. yes um uh, the site was in in great shape when I got here. The the RV was was lovely as well. But I wanted to add those personal touches. So, did a little updating um, on the deck uh, from Sean and his team here. They've been wonderful with um, helping get my vision uh, into what you see here. Uh, the, I did put sod out on the front of my site, which was grass right out onto the beach. For me, it's a great thing. I have little grandkids. It's fun to play for them and they can uh, play in the grass and, and uh, clean their feet off when they're done swimming. Um, just wanted to make it my own and put my stamp on it. And it's just been wonderful with uh, the ability to make it really personal. Yeah. yeah. 
I love the grass, and you were saying that they can like um, run off the beach, wipe their feet off, yep. and then they don't bring sand into your site. That's exactly it, and I actually enjoy a little bit of the yard work. I know that might not be some people's <laughs> reason to come. That. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I, I don't uh, take care of my big yard at home. I have family that takes care of that. So this has been kind of a little uh, fun uh, entertainment for me to keep this lawn alive and looking good. And I just love the hominess. It brings a real anchor to the whole site it's a nice little path right down to the beach and and for me it just it was right for me yep. is this how pirate people live and i says i guess i'm a country boy he would have been fine with like 30 acres all by ourselves where i'm like i need <laughs> neighbors and people and friendships so and this is our this family. worked perfectly well, we certainly uh, want to live here forever. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> we don't want to move Excellent. again. <laughs> yeah, I said I love it here. I don't want to, I don't want to leave. <laughs> and we love it here. Yeah. Be best move we ever done for sure. By awesome. far, <laughs> by far the best. Then it's just so peaceful at night. It's so completely quiet. What a great place to be on a rainy day. And uh, I can end my work day, jump in the uh, cart, get down to the dock, and swim. It really is like living at a resort. <laughs>